Hey, this is Joseph Lebrecht, and I'm going to be doing a follow-up video here to my previous video, which was talking about Air 3 Captive Runtime bundling on Windows with an installer program called Advanced Installer. And what we're going to have a look at are some of the other options I wasn't quite sure about when I initially did that video. So right here we see the default start screen for Advanced Installer. And previously we didn't use this little checkbox here to use a wizard to create the project. This time we're actually going to do that. So we have installer and uh, the simple template selected. And we're going to use the wizard because this is actually going to kind of jumpstart things for us. So let's create a new project. So here we can enter the name. So we'll use the same name, Data Cruncher. Company being FVM. So next. I'm just going to tell us well, where do you want to save this project to? Where do you want to output the setup files? What do you want to call the setup package? So th these are probably fine. And as it mentions here, you can modify all these settings afterwards. It's important to know anything we set up in this wizard doesn't have to stick. We can always change it later. So let's hit next. And here we select the folder with our actual application files. So that exists on my desktop under exports. And there's my daughter cruncher folder from uh, the output from, from Flash Builder. So let's select that and hit next. So this part here is pretty important. It allows you to create shortcuts really quickly. So, you know, what do we want? Well, we want a shortcut for data cruncher. We want to create that on the desktop and optionally in the programs group from the start menu. We can also rename. So we probably don't want it data cruncher.exe. We just want it to be called data cruncher. And then do we want to launch after install? Yeah, sure, that makes sense. Let's do that. And next. So we can add a license agreement if we want here. I don't have one, so I'm not going to. And then we can choose to build the project or not. So let's hit finish. So you can see here, this is very similar to what we saw before. I'm going to, again, include the uh, control panel icon from the executable. And then we can look at these different install parameters. Upgrades, so how do we handle upgrades? Different launch conditions. And there's tons of stuff in here. I'm not obviously going to go through all of it. Um, some of the things I want to note, though, is especially this. So under files and folders, since we are creating shortcuts now on the desktop and so forth, we actually have a lot of these things to find. We don't anymore have to manually add the file folder, the bundle, to this. It's already added under application folder with our executable, our Swift, and so forth. We also have application shortcut folder, so this is uh, what gets installed to program folders under the start menu. And we also on our desktop have a uh, daughter cruncher um, shortcut link, right? So that's all set up for us already. Perfect. Uh, we can change the way registry entries work for this. If we want to, uh, there's deployment on different types of media. Um, this is really interesting. This is the uh, dialogue. So this kind of goes through each little step of the install process. And here's where we can actually show a readme file. So we can package that. Um, we can also do some really interesting things with theming. So if we go add remove down here, this is actually adding and removing modules to our project. So let's go in and say that we want to use themes. So we can do that and hit apply and we'll upgrade our project. And then we can see here under user interface, we not only have dialogues, but we also have themes now. So let's click on that and we can choose between all of these, these different themes. So some of them are more generic uh, than others, but you know, pretty interesting. And I'm not, I'm still not sure exactly if we can use our own sort of, uh, um, particular images and so forth for any of these, like this uh, placeholder image right here or whatnot, um, which is, is fine. It doesn't really matter all that much unless you really want to, to tweak it. Of course, there, there are other options. So 
like if we go back to the new dialog here you know I mean look at all these options here we've also got this professional template and so forth and this looks like it could um, include some additional functionalities but hopefully that's you know a good overview of how to use this application I've been really impressed with advanced installer and you know at this point I'd, I'd pretty much recommend it uh, for anyone wanting to do this stuff so hope it's helpful